It's one of the year's biggest nighttime charity events and the biggest helping in the fight against blood cancers. The annual Light the Night Walk will be taking place on October 2nd. It's the walk's fifth year in Montreal. And joining us now to talk about how this event has really just grown over the years is Patricia Gilmore from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada and Alyssa Brandone, who is a cancer survivor. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. So, Alyssa, you were diagnosed with, uh, with this. Uh, when you were just 11 years old. Can you take us back to, to how it was to receive that news at such a young age? Well, it definitely was a shock. I mean, he just came right out and telling it, tell, well, to tell me. The doctor was very short, brief, and, you know, you have it, you have to deal with it. It was a lot to take in. But the only thing I could really remember from that day was asking if it's curable, and he told me it was treatable. So I didn't really know much of the difference, but I figured there was hope. And from that day, I really don't remember much, but I knew I had to be positive and just get through it. And what exactly were you diagnosed with? AML leukemia. Okay. Yeah. It's a rare form in children, actually. Hmm. So to be diagnosed was a little uh, shocking. And now you're cancer-free. Now I'm completely in remission, eight years. Okay. And of course, a lot of progress made in uh, leukemia treatments over the years. Uh, the, the survival rate has just skyrocketed. So treatment uh, is really working here. There has been a lot of progress. And this walk helps out every year, right, Patricia? Absolutely. Uh, survival rates have actually tripled since uh, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's uh, inception, which is wonderful news. And uh, all proceeds from the Light the Night walk go towards research and patient services. So um, it's really, you know, people who fundraise for the event, who come, they walk, show solidarity at twilight, um, see how far their money goes. Mm -hmm. And it's really a beautiful event. I think, you know, it's been five years. I think I covered the actual first year. And, uh, you know, Alyssa, you take part every year now in yeah. remission for eight years. Yeah. As a cancer survivor, what does this walk mean to you? It means so much. I mean, I'm cured, but there are some people that haven't been cured yet, and I just really want to find that cure. I want everybody to live, you know, cancer-free. Hmm. So it means a lot. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. So again, Light the Night Walk will be taking place Saturday, October 2nd at Parc Jean Drapeau. And for more information, you can head to the website, which is www.lightthenight.ca. And that's right, not .org, exactly. not .ca. There's two websites. You can check them both out. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Visit ctvmontreal.ca for the latest news. Plus, join the discussion and get instant updates through Facebook and Twitter. Stay informed and stay in touch.